In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to actually add content to pages in Squarespace. So once we have a new page, we'll see uh, it's pretty much blank here. There's nothing here. And you'll see this little section that says right here. And this is basically a text block, which is what all brand new pages start off with. So I can simply click there and I can write here the pick buggy story. And I can start with that. But say I already have content, I already have text that I want to put into this site, uh, which I do. So I'm just going to come over here. And here I have this block of text that I already have written that I want to put on the website. So I'm going to copy this text. Then I'm going to come over and I'm just simply going to paste that text. And here I have just now added a bunch of text to my website. Now text alone isn't very exciting and it's also not formatted at all. So what we're going to want to do then is add some pictures. So here we have this big block of text but what if I want to add a picture to this page? Well what you're going to see is if I scroll anywhere kind of over on the left side of this text box you see these little um, plus icons that pop up. And so I can click any one of these plus icons and what that's going to do is insert a block into this page. So if I click this plus right here, it's going to pull up this series of options of new blocks that I can add to Squarespace. And a block in Squarespace is basically um, a place on a website that is held and kind of does one of these functions. So it might be a text block or a quote block or maybe we're putting an image or a gallery or a video. Uh, Squarespace uses these blocks as kind of simple ways to add them to the site. So for this feature we're going to actually go and we're going to click this image button right here and we're going to choose to add an image block. So I'm going to click that and what you see is there's now this new window pops up where I can edit an image on the site. Now, whenever you see a big white box like this on Squarespace with this little up arrow, that's their kind of way of saying here is where you're going to upload a file. So I'm going to click this. And then I'm going to go and actually choose the picture that I want to upload to this site. So I have this photo right here, and I'm going to click it. And now it's going to go ahead and upload that photo. Uh, here you have the ability to change the file name if you want to. Uh, you have the option to choose how you want the caption to appear if you want to change those options. Um, and then you have the option to choose a light box if you want someone to be able to enlarge it or not. And lastly, down here you have this option if you want to maybe make this image link to another page on your site, you can do that as well. Um, but it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. You upload an image, choose your options, and click Save. So now you see that image popped up right between the pick buggy story and the rest of the text that I had laid out. But that's not really how I want to have it sitting on this page. Um, I, you know, because if right now, now all my text is pushed way under this really big picture I have. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on this picture and drag it around and lay it out. Now this, this right here, what I'm doing is probably one of the greatest features of Squarespace. You have the ability to simply just click and drag and drop things where you want them to go. And so notice that uh, when I click, I click and I drag it, depending on where I move it, I start to see this little gray line or this gray box show up. And that's essentially where this picture is going to land if I let go. So if I see I have this gray line right here now underneath the near the end of 2013 um, paragraph, if I let go, Suddenly, my picture is now below near the end of 2013, but my rest of my text is below it. So I was able to just drag and drop that photo between those two paragraphs of text. 
Now, what if I want to have it kind of just floating to the right and have the text wrap around it? Well, then I'm going to simply click, drag, and as you see, as I have it right over here, I see this gray box appear. When you see the gray box appear, that means you're going to have a wrap around, and the text is actually going to wrap around the image. So now we see the text is below that first paragraph, and it all wraps around there. But then there's still one other really big way you can kind of move content around. What if I want to make this picture an entirely second column? If I click this, and I scroll over here to the right, you see this really big vertical line that goes all the way down the side of the page. If I let go right here, I have now created a whole second column on my web page entirely devoted to just the pictures and any other content that I want to add into this page. Uh, for the sake of this site, I'm actually going to just leave it right here where the text wraps around it. And there we go. And now if I want to actually make it any bigger or smaller, I can simply just click this little, uh, I can, oh, oh no, what have I done? And I'm getting a glitch in Squarespace. Oh, there we go. Squarespace is not perfect. I could erase that, but I will tell you that there are glitches that appear from time to time. And sometimes you just have to reload a page or save or start over. Um, so with this, if I want to make the image bigger, I will scroll to the left where I see this little kind of resize icon. And as I move it this way, now see that I'm making my big picture bigger or smaller. And there we go. I will come up here to the top and I'm going to save my changes. And we have just added content to a page in Squarespace.